So in the interest of being the grand fixer around here, I have removed Patty's smoke detector and will be blowing it out with some air at my house. And then I will be grand fixing it. As you can see, I've got Patty's smoke detector all clean and ready for installation up there. Let's install this beyond. This is the original battery she had installed. I don't mean to brag, I don't mean to boast, but installed. Well, it looks like my fix didn't work. Uh, it beeps like every minute, it's very annoying, like the battery's dead. So I consulted with a friend of mine in the safety industry and he said, blow the thing out with some air, which I did. And it still beeps every minute on the minute. So I think it's broken. So we're just gonna replace it. I was gonna take it apart and try and fix it, but you know, it's safety equipment. Lives are at stake. Because this plugs in to an AC source, I'm pretty sure it works without the battery. I think the battery is, I just hope I can find one that's sort of the same form factor. Because I'm pretty sure it works, I think it's better to have it up there so I don't have to rewire it and everything. We shall see. I'm 100% sure it doesn't work when it's not installed. So instead of trying to just fix it, we'll just buy another one. I'm sure they're not that expensive. Brand new, baby. Okay. Yeah. So this is my friend Rich from Hi. Rich Valdez from Handy, handy, punch list. punch list services. Punch list handy services. <laughs> well, I just came home to some kind of weird water emergency. Some kind of pipe has burst under my house. I don't know if you can see the moisture here. Water was physically squirting out of this register, so I gotta crawl under the crawl space. I got a feeling this is gonna be really nasty. If you recall in episode 17, I kind of touched on the busted water pipe saga at my house. Unfortunately, I've got a burst pipe at my house that forced me to turn off the water and it completely flooded the underside of my house. So naturally the first step was to find the leak. But you know me, projects beget projects. Underneath my house in my crawl space, I have a string of bulbs ran so that I can see when I crawl around under there. Well, all those bulbs are incandescent bulbs, which not only draw a lot of current, but they produce a lot of heat. I have a whole bunch of curly bulbs sitting in a box up in my attic, so I thought, well, what the heck, why don't I install some of those curly bulbs into the crawl space to save not only save electricity, but it'd be a lot less heat. Got all my old clothes on, old shoes. Here's what the underside of my house looks like. So the leak is all the way back there. So I gotta go all the way to the corner of the house to get to it. Fortunately, I don't see any water here, so that's a good sign. I'm sure there's a good puddle back there somewhere, but I'm gonna have to put this camera away and break out the old GoPro. Looks 
like I gotta get a damn screwdriver to open up those cages. Crap. Got a screwdriver. Now we're getting more light for less electricity. Curly bulbs. So this is the toilet here for the master bathroom <coughs> and that's the toilet for my bathroom and that's the shower in the middle I assume <coughs> and these are the sinks and stuff. Right there. It's all wet, all soaking wet all the way along there, so I don't know. Oh yeah, this ground is, all this is soaking wet. So I imagine it's gonna be muddy. Oh yeah, it's muddy, all right. All right, well, obviously the pipe that broke, it's a copper pipe, son of a bitch. So I'm gonna have to have a buddy help me weld this. First, I gotta let this whole underside dry. It's gonna take a while for this side, underside to dry. Son of a bitch. So it looks like my house is without water for a while. Damn it. I was hoping it would be a connection that wouldn't require soldering because I don't really solder pipe. With that said, I've got a friend of mine who, who does a real good job with soldering pipes. Owes me a couple of favors, so looks like I'm gonna call in my favor card and help oh, see if I can't get them down here to help me. Damn it. Alright. Let's head back. Well, there's a big water patch under there. I'm gonna have to let it dry. Fortunately, we're in the desert, in the high desert. It'll probably take a day, and then I can better explore what I got going on. Thinking I should have taken better video with my GoPro. So clearly, I'm gonna have to go back. Uh, it's just too wet down there. There's just a big, I don't know, like 20 by 20 foot patch of mud back there. Fortunately, we're in the high desert, so it should be dry in a day, maybe two. So my next door neighbor, Gloria, was nice enough. Well, that's too bright. So my next door neighbor, Gloria, was nice enough to let me borrow her house to get cleaned up and uh, wash some parts and get some water. Very nice neighborly thing to do. Treat your camera equipment good and it'll treat you good.
Now the white balance is set correctly. All right, looks like we're finished up here at Gloria's house, my next door neighbor. Very nice of her to let me use her sink so I could fill up my waters and wash up. Very nice. Looks like we're done. I'm gonna have to let the underside of the house dry. But honestly, the weather's just super humid. Once the ground dries under the house, then we're going to get under there and start soldering pipes. <laughs> <laughs> 